Hi guys, so I've created this look. I've been looking at a lot of London and New York fashion show makeup and this one was done by makeup artist Erin Parsons. Plus I've noticed this trend with the little gem underneath the eyes and I really wanted to try it. So if you like the look of this, then please keep watching. I've already done my face and primed my eyes because they're the same in every video. I'm gonna be taking this white matte shade from the 35B palette by Morphe and we're gonna be applying this to the brow bone area. Now we're going to take this warm brown shade from the 35F palette by Mor Morphe and we're gonna use this as our transition shade. And we want to really make sure that's nicely blended out because we're gonna be concentrating on that blending today. We're now going to be taking this pink shade from the 35B palette and we're going to be applying that into the crease area and then blending it upwards. And we're just going to take little at a time and then keep blending it in. And this colour is going to help the lid colour blend out seamlessly. We're now going back in with that transition colour just to blend out and smooth out those edges. We're now going to take this very dark pink shade and this is going to be our lid colour. So we're going to apply this all over the lid and this colour really is going to add, uh, be a base colour because we're going to add uh, more of a metallic shade on top so we kind of want to mix the two shades together and I'm going back in with that lighter pink shade just to make sure that's blended out and then going back in with transition shade to make sure that the edges are smooth. All about smooth edges with this look. I'm now taking this Urban Decay 24 7 eye pencil in the colour 0 and we're just going to apply that as close as we can to the lash line. We just want to darken this area and we're going to take this short shader brush and just blend it out. And you want to make sure you do this before you apply that final eyeshadow because we want it to appear subtle. You can do it afterwards if you want, if you want it to be a bit more stronger, but for this look I wanted to be more subtle with it. I'm now just quickly going back in with that dark berry shade and that's just really to help make sure those edges of the eyeliner are blended nicely. Onto the final eyeshadow, we're taking this shimmery pinky red colour from the Morphe 35F palette and we're just going to apply this all over the lid and then we're going to blend it into the crease. Um, when we blend it into the crease we want to take that light pink colour that we've been using just to help it blend out and then go back in with that transition shade just to make sure it's all nice and smooth. And I do realise that this is more pinky than burgundy but in the end I actually really really liked it and this, is, this metallic shade is probably one of my favourites now definitely one of my favourites. So we're taking that eyeliner pencil again and we're just going to apply it onto the lower lash on the outer third and then blend that out because we want to darken those uh, uh, outer corners. And then we're going to take this purple shimmer shade from the 35B palette and we're going to apply that all over the top. Make sure you concentrate it on that outer third and then bring it inwards. We're now taking that dark berry shade again and we're just going to apply that to the lower lashes just to help blend out that purple shade and also to match up with the um, the lid colour. We're now going to take this pinky purple shade from the 35B palette for the inner corner highlight and I like to apply it slightly on the bottom and then bring it up so it's nicely blended. And now I'm going to apply my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara as you can see. I decided not to put lashes on because I liked how it turned out at the time so it's up to you if you want to add them. And I'm now just bronzing my face with the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkiss which I totally forgot I had and it's such a beautiful colour. I'm now taking Shadow Play from the Kat Von D Contour Shade and Light palette and we're just going to be contouring those areas so we're applying them in the same place we're just darkening those areas and adding more depth. I'm now taking my MAC blusher in Warm Soul. This is like, I think this might be an older formula because it's more on the bronzy side. And I'm now taking Stardust from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Gleam Kit and I'm applying those to the cheeks, uh, the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow. 
I'm now going to be adding those rhinestones. I did film it, but I think I got too close to the mirror. But you can see I'm just putting a small dot of duo eyelash glue on the area I want the gem. And then I just stuck that on top. And this is how it looks. For the lips, I'm taking Beauty Bakery's uh, Metallic Lip Whip in Cinnamon Roll. And it is the most yummiest colour I think I've ever seen. It's beautiful. But yeah, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love how it came out. At the time I didn't want to put lashes on, I just liked it with the mascara, but now when you like look back at things you're like, I wonder what it looks like with false lashes on, so I wish I did add them. If I was to add them, I'd probably go with the Huda Beauty Samantha ones because they're my favourite. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All products and their links are listed down below. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment down below as well. And yeah if you're still here thank you very much and i will see you in the next video bye guys